What's up guys nerd? Oh. <laughs> What's up guys nerdy noob here and I have another unboxing video for you. I forgot to say in my past video that the reason I'm doing these boxes is because for those of you who joined the live stream you guys picked these three boxes. So in this video I'm going to be unboxing the 2016 October Ludicu box. I am deathly excited about this box. That's probably not the right term to use but the theme this month was Pokemon and Harry Potter. Come on guys, come on. Can it get any freaking better than Pokemon and Harry Potter? Are you kidding me? Oh, so exciting. Anyways, if you're interested in getting this box, I'm gonna put all of the pricing details in the description below for you. Once you cut the tape and you open up the box, this is what you're gonna see. I heard from a lot of you guys that this box was really, really cool. How does it look? Oh my gosh, you guys, I'm so excited. I am so excited. I'm excited because Ludico always gives you really nice items, so I'm excited that it's a theme that I'm going to love. Oh, I hope they do this more often. Oh, you guys. The first item we have is, it's like a bean plushie. So we got a great ball. The only reason I even know that is because I played Pokemon Go. Um... I am so excited about this. this is so freaking cool. Oh my gosh, you guys, I'm so excited. Uh, they have like, I didn't realize, I got a shirt recently that had all the different Pokeballs on it. I think I wore it in one of my videos. I didn't realize how many different Pokeballs they had. Like, I feel like when I watched Pokemon, it just was the simple red and white ball, but now they have a ton of different ones, which is really cool. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Okay, I don't want to do this, but I'm going to. The next time we have, oh! No, is this, oh, you guys, I think this is a Pikachu that turns into a Squirtle. So this is what it looks like. And there's his shell and there's this zipper. I think you can put, let's see, is this real? How, what do I do with his ears? I don't know what, how this works, but I think it's like, okay, he doesn't turn into a Squirtle. He's just wearing like a Squirtle hoodie because the zipper is actually not real. It's just like the zipper but it doesn't actually do anything but this is so cool oh they have different ones okay oh I like the Bulbasaur one although it shows that you can put his ears do I like shove his ears in this thing I feel bad I don't want to shove his ears in here okay I probably could have shoved his ears in a little bit better than I did but this is a Pikachu that's kind of dressed like a Squirtle that's so cool the next time we have oh it's a, it's a Harry Potter wand keychain. I mean, I don't know if this is licensed. It doesn't look licensed because there's no tag. Whose wand is this? I don't know whose wand this is, but it's a little keychain. That's very cool. There's a the thing. I would be careful with this keychain since it's just one of the, like, clippy clips. It could technically get undone. Next, we got a couple Pokemon figures. These are of newer Pokemon, so I don't really know who these are. But we got two little figures. These look like things that you can get from like the Japanese toy stores. <gasps> you guys, I almost ordered one of these online because I saw it and I was so excited. Oh, this is so cool. Oh my gosh, you guys, this is so freaking cool. Okay, we got a wax and stamp. This is so cool. I can't wait to use this. Like if I write people letters or something. I mean, I don't write too many letters, but. So basically what it is, is this little stamp. It's wooden and it has the metal thing, right? And it's the Hogwarts crest. Let's see if you can see. So it's of the Hogwarts crest. And then you have this candle wax thing. So you light it and it melts the wax. You let it drip onto the paper and then you press the stamp down and it seals the letter. That is so cool. I literally just yesterday almost bought this Harry Potter stationery set. The only reason I didn't get it is because it was only of Slytherin. I think I saw it on the Nerd Block site. And so I was, ugh. And here's, oh, here's an example of actually what that stamp does. So it does like a wax seal. All right, this next item is this letter, and it's supposed to look like the letter that got sent to uh, Harry, like his, I think it's his acceptance letter. Although this doesn't really look like it. I've ruined this this string. Okay, here we go. So there's string on it. I just undid the string at your owl post. And on the back, you've just got a bunch of different stamps. What are you, just break through wax seals? Ah, oh, I had to rip it. Ugh. These things smell like soap. Okay, what do we have? This is a letter from Albus Dumbledore. It's the letter of acceptance. Oh, and then this is a list of the school supplies that he needs, plus his ticket, his ticket to the Hogwarts Express. So here's a list of all of his supplies that he needs and letter of acceptance. 
This all smells like soap. It's very interesting. I'm sorry, I don't know why I said this was from Avastomers. It's from Professor McGonagall. Sorry. This is really cool. They use really shiny gold paper. There's a close-up of the thing. They definitely went above and beyond with this letter. It's like an exact replica of what he got in the book. You probably could frame that. That'd be kind of fun. <gasps> he blocked it. He blocked it. Pick it up. Run, run, run. Okay. Sorry. Oh, the next item we have is a golden snitch. I think this is a necklace. This looks different than all of the other golden snitch necklaces that we've got in the past because I've received a few of them. So it's a little gold ball and then the silver wings. And it's got a silver chain. And this chain does not, you can't change the size, so you're just stuck with this size. It doesn't change. There you go. There you have it. Oh, look, I wore a Pokemon shirt for this. Nice. Oh, I think this was the bag. I'm assuming this is the bag that maybe the wand came in, but that's just empty. We have this item. It looks like some kind of print. Oh my god, I can't get this tape off. Wow. So... This is a map. So it has Diagon Alley on this side, and then it has the school on this side. Um, it also says the Wizarding World of Harry Potter. Like, I think this is just a, I feel like this is just a replica map of, I don't know, and there's Hogsmeade right there. I guess it's just a map of like the entire, like everything. It has the, it has King's Cross Station, and it has Diagon Alley here and Hogsmeade here, and then the school is right up there. They make the school look really small in this map. I'll just pan for you. I can't even see if it's still on screen, sorry. <gasps> okay, so there's your map. That's a cool item. Not my favorite. I'm not huge on prints and stuff, but... All right, the last one we have is a Gryffindor scarf. This is a really nice scarf. It's really big. And here's the Gryffindor patch. It's very soft. Oh, this is very nice. The color seems a little bit off. It seems like more of a dark purple than it does. I feel like they're a little bit more scarlet, which is reddish. But I still like it. So there you go. All right, the first item we got is our Harry Potter scarf. Scarf? Scarf. It's a Gryffindor scarf. Maroon with yellow lines. Again, I think this is a little bit more purple, but that's okay. I like purple, so I don't mind it. Um, I would probably give this scarf... I mean, you might be able to give it $10. I'm thinking more like 8 But I know scarves, let's see. I'm not going to look. They give you pricing, but I'm not going to look that up yet. I'm not going to look at their pricing. Okay, so I feel like this exact scarf is on Amazon right now for about $16. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and give that... I'll give it... I'm gonna give it 12. I don't, I'm not comfortable giving it 15. I don't think it's licensed, so that's the one kind of downside of it. So I feel like that definitely changes the value a little bit. We had our Harry Potter map print, which is really cool, and it's really, really long. Um, there was a special upgrade on this. If you were a lucky subscriber, you could have potentially received a, um, oh, also receive a custom made Marauders map. It looks pretty cool. So some viewers got that Marauders map. So uh, for this print, I would probably give this print, it's very nice, it's very long. I'd probably give this maybe $4, 3 to $4. You guys know I undervalue prints. The plush Pokeball, this is amazing, and I'm sure this is actually probably really expensive. You probably could give this anywhere from $8 to $10, to be honest, because Pokemon stuff is expensive. I probably would stick with, I don't think 9 might be too expensive. Let's do eight fifty. I love, oh, okay. Um, this wax stamp thing, I would honestly, okay, knowing the price of how much this costs because I tried to buy a set yesterday, I would probably give this $10 because I've actually also purchased one of these for somebody else before and they're pretty expensive, but I like this one a lot, so I'd give it $10. The Harry Potter letter and golden ticket, that was pretty cool. They, they went through a lot of effort and you could actually frame that stuff. I would go ahead and give that, I'd probably give that $5. The two Pokemon toys, they're from, uh, they're Pokemon monster toys. I would probably say, I know that these are really small, but just knowing the price of Pokemon things, I'd probably give these um, $5 each. I think they'd be too much to give it $6 each, so we'll give 10 for the two. And then we had, let's see, Pokemon Exclusive Plush. It says, receive one random for the series, but then this is a special upgrade. So then they also had, just like the map, they had a special drop. Um, so these are the ones that 
most people got. They got one of these, I guess. I don't know how big those plush plushies are. But then there was a special drop and um, certain people got the, the big fat one with, um, it's, I don't know, big plush, sleeping bag plush. Um, that, so we got the sleeping bag plush with Squirtle. Um, the other ones look pretty cool too. I don't know if they're smaller, but there's a bunch of different Pokemon sleeping bag ones in here. And these dressed it as different things. Can you see it? Hopefully you can see it. There's like one of him and Charizard. But I can imagine, I guess that maybe that's smaller. I guess these are lottery items and they're extremely um, rare. And then we got two free items. Because I ship late, is this the September box or the October box? This is the October box. So I know they said because they ship late, they were gonna give some free things. So the necklace and the wand keychain are the free items. I would still price these out because they're in here. I would say that this keychain is probably worth, it's not licensed, so I'd probably say $3. And then this necklace, it, again, it's probably not licensed, so you probably could give maybe $4 for that. All right, so according to my pricing, this box is worth $56.50. I obviously, Oh wait, I forgot to price this thing, I'm sorry. Uh, oh geez. So this one online, this specific one is going for $40. Um, I could definitely see that because it's huge. I don't know what the, let me see if I can find. I wanna say that the smaller ones are going for about $20. So I would say that, so I would say that that, let's like, I don't know, it's hard because obviously I got the bigger one and he's going for 40 online. Did I say 40? Yeah, 40 online. I guess I'll price it. Well, even if you just did 20, this box would be worth, so if you did 20 based off of just getting the regular one, this box is worth $76.50. I'm gonna give another 20 because I'll do another 10. No, I should do 20 because it really is going for 40. So according to my pricing, this box is worth, ah, I feel bad. Uh, let's say $86.50. We'll do in between. So I priced this at $30. Um, it's like $38, so you could give it eight more dollars. This box costs $66 a month which means that we got $20 extra value on top of what you paid for it. Um, 60, 30, you would want at least 20. 20 would be like the low end, so we hit our value. You potentially could give that eight more dollars, because like I said, this guy's going for more. But since this guy is technically a drop, um, he, you potentially might not have gotten this much, and if you got the smaller one and he was only worth $20, then you'd only get $10.50 extra value until you pay for it, which is a, about normal for my pricing of what this box is worth. Um, just to quickly go over what they price things at, they price the scarf at $25, the wax seal at $15, the acceptance letter at $7, the plush, the Pokemon plush at $20 or $60 for the upgraded item, the $15 for the Pokeball, uh, $10, $5 each for the figures. Oh, yay, I got something right. The map print was $5 plus $18 if you got the upgraded Marauders map. And then the keychain and necklace are technically free, but they're worth $10. So basically, uh, this box is worth about $97, um, which is kind of close to what I gave it. I, I obviously priced really low, so I only gave the scarf, what did I give it? Like $8 or $10, $12? I don't remember, $12 I think, or something like that. I don't even remember what I gave it, $12. So that was a little bit lower. The wax seal I gave only 10. Acceptance letter I only gave five instead of seven. The plush I gave 20 for the small one, 40 for the big one, because on Amazon right now that's going for $38. Pokeball I only gave, what, eight fifty I think. The figures I did, correctly the map I only gave four dollars and then the I, I added the keychain and necklace into my pricing so um, if you want to go based off their pricing they say they use Amazon pricing so it probably that's usually what I use as well so it's probably somewhere around there but at the end of the day I love this box because I love the theme and that's one of the good things about this box is even if I didn't hit my value I mean I hit my value and I got extra value and for me, I got about $20 to $28 extra value, which is really good, and it, it makes me happy. Um, if I didn't get this bigger plushie, it probably would be, I think I would still like it, to be honest. I think I would still like the box, because again, I like the theme, so I liked everything that I got in this box. If I had to rate this box, um, I would probably give this box a, I actually think I'd give this box a 4.75 out of 5 noobs. Eh, actually, I'd probably give this box a 4.5 out of 5 noobs. Eh, I don't know. I think I'd give it between a 4.5 and a 4.75 out of 5 noobs. Because 
I'm not a huge fan of the scarf, so that's like the one thing I'm kind of disappointed. I like the Pokemon items that they gave. Um, it would have been cool to get, like, you know, usually when they do, like, Dragon Ball Z boxes or whatever, they give you some really cool figures. Like, it'd be cool. it would have been cool to get some cool figures, but I love the plushies that I got. And I think that it was lacking a little bit in value. It could have done a teeny bit better for me. But at the end of the day, again, I like all the items, and I'm excited about this box. So this was a really good box. This is probably my favorite Ludicoo box that I've received, so I am a fan. Um, I would probably say 4. Point, I'm definitely, definitely confident with a 4.5 and potentially 4.75. I think that might be a little bit high. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, feel free to click the like button below. If you want to see more unboxing videos, go and check out my channel. I have a whole bunch on there, and you should subscribe. Let me know in the comments section below what you guys thought about this box, Harry Potter and Pokemon. I mean, come on. Can it get any better than that? What did you guys think of this box? Did you think it was worth it? You know, this box is really expensive because it comes from Hong Kong, so the shipping's actually really expensive, but they they give really, really good items, and it's usually not as many knockoff items. I guess that's the other maybe sort of complaint that I have is I feel like some of these items, like the scarf, I feel like was actually not, it wasn't licensed, so I think it was kind of knockoff-ish E. Um, so yeah, but the Pokemon items were all really good. So I like those. But yeah, let me know what you guys thought about it. And remember, if you subscribe to my channel and your subscriptions aren't blocked or set to private, you'll make it onto my thank you to subscribers page, which is not coming up right now because I haven't updated them, but I'm going to do that tonight. So I'll start having thank you to subscriber pages hopefully soon. So be on the lookout for that. Uh, all right, guys. I hope you guys have a great day, and I will see you guys later. Bye.